Welcome back everyone for another anti-malware test review. We will be conducting an anti-malware test only for this test. Um, we have decided to do a series with Windows Defender where we will be putting it up against um, the well-known vendors um, out on the market. As Defender comes pre-built in so we want to see if it can actually go toe-to-toe -to -toe with all the other third-party vendors. So we have um, a vast one on the left and Windows 11 Defender on the right. So for a vast one, we'll quickly have a look at the settings. Now for a vast, we'll quickly have a look at the settings. For file shield. We have set it to fix automatically, um, scan for PUPs um, to do that automatically as well, and that's about it. For advanced settings, um, these are the settings we have enabled for advanced, and that's about it. And we had made one exception, and that is for our script. Web shield, web shield is enabled. Ransomware protection is enabled and these are the folders and we selected it for smart mode and that's about it. Firewall has been enabled and we set our network as a trusted network. So that's the firewall. And these are all the premium features. So that's that about for um, Avast. For Windows Defender, we use the uh, configuration tool. For the configuration tool, we chose the high settings. Under Max, um, there seems to be a bit of a problem where Windows Defender gets disabled and doesn't work um, proper or doesn't function proper. So we decided to leave it on high. So these are the settings for high. Just quickly scanning and going through them. And that's about it. For Defender, uh, let's look at the GUI side. So these are all the protection modules. Uh, controlled folder access has been enabled. Uh, reputation based has been enabled as well and core isolation we have enabled that as well so that's quickly done and dusted we've went through all the settings we are just going to quickly disable um, the protection so that we can extract the malware um, once the malware is extracted we'll have a look see at all the malware that we're going to run and then we'll start the test okay everyone and we have finally extracted all the malware so we have a 1,374 samples for today and let's just check 1,374 um, before we enable the protection let's just make sure that both these machines are fully up to date uh, Avast is on the latest version I did update it and reboot for all the new features okay so they're all um, fully up to date so I think it's time to um, enable the protection. Let's do Windows Defender first. Uh, okay, so Windows Defender is green. All the modules are enabled. Uh, reputation based, everything is enabled. And core isolation is enabled. So I think Windows Defender is good to go. For Avast, everything seems to be enabled. Looking good, protected. So yeah, I think we can start this test guys, so let's, let's start this test. Let's see who's going to give us our first pop-up. Okay, so Windows Defender gave us our first one. Okay, so there's our pop-up for Avast, so everything is popping up, doing its, doing its job, so I'm going to um, attend to these um, pop-ups as soon as anything interesting happens I'll point it out but for now let, let the test just run on these two
Okay, so both tests are finally done. Um, I can see that Defender wants to turn on the protection, so obviously I think one of the malware did turn it off, so let's just turn it on. Okay, uh, submit sample. Okay, so I think some of the malware did try to fiddle with um, Defender. I'm just going to say start action so that it handles this malware. So they are about two. I did close some of them, but I left these two open. Two malware that can't be removed. Okay, so before I restart the machine, let's just look at startup items. Doesn't seem like there's anything funny. Uh, let's see what is running. Uh, according to Process Explorer, doesn't seem like there's anything running that's funny. Just gonna close that. Okay, I'm gonna restart the Avast machine and then start a full scan. Um, I'm just gonna wait for this to finish up, then I'll reboot Defender as well and start the full scan. Okay, so Defender is done with the threats. Just gonna close that. Okay, so let's see what's running. Seems like one, two, types of malware that's still running um, that service is also running okay, and let's look at startup obviously this that's running here shouldn't be here okay startup doesn't seem like there's anything funny um, let's close this uh, let's just do that. Okay, uh, let's quickly restart this machine and then I'll start the full scan with um, Defender as well. Okay, and we're back everyone. Um, I had to pause the VMs a bit, had a, had a couple of things to do, but we're back into the swing of it. So, um, Avast had 774. Um, full scan completed and I did um, remove the threads so um, I'm just gonna let um, Avast quickly quarantine these um, full scan is completed for Defender so I'm gonna restart it once it's up and running I'll start with the third party pinion scans and I'll do the same for Avast Okay, and the test is finally done, so let's have a look at our results. Okay, for Heatman Pro, um, for a vast, seems we have only one in temporary file, which is not that bad. That's normally where malware tends to go when it wants to execute. So only one in temp, the rest is on the desktop, so that's really good. For Defender, um, seems like it's only malware that's on the desktop, nothing in the temp, so that's really, really good. Um, look at Norton, nothing there. Um, you guys will notice that I haven't done any scans with Norton or uh, MSISoft since those EXEs were deleted with malware um, or maybe quarantined because they might have been infected. So we can't do scans of them, hence the broken shortcut. Okay, let's look at uh, MSISoft. Okay, so we've got one in. Um, temp file and uh, might be the same one that Hitman Pro picked up. Any malware on the desktop, and that's good. Any malware on the desktop, nowhere else. That's really good. Now let's look at malware bytes. Okay, malware on the desktop. And that's about it guys, nothing else, desktop only for uh, Windows Defender, we've got a couple of shortcuts. And then malware on the desktop. Uh, 
Okay, and we've got one registry key. Okay, so that's about it. Let's close this. I uh, was just doing a scan with Komodo for the sake of time. Let's look at our startup items. Okay, startup item seems to be clean for a vast. That's really good. For Defender, seems we've got one Java here, hence that error message every time. And then obviously Office was installing during the test. One of the malware tried to download Office and obviously hence Teams. But it seems like it is legitimate Office. Uh, let's see what's running. Okay, let's quickly have a look at a vast. Okay, so Avast seems good. Let's have a look at Defender. Uh, let's see what that is. Okay, seems good so far as well. Let's look at our documents. Okay, download seems to be good. Our documents seems to be good. Okay, and our pictures are intact. That's good to see. Now it's time for Defender. Documents are untouched and our pictures are in working order. That's awesome. Okay, guys, I think this is the end of this test. Um, I think they both did really, really well. Um, obviously, I think Avast just did a little bit better. One registry key less, um, and at least we still have the tray icon that's working. The tray icon seems to be missing for Defender, and obviously, we lost two of our third party opinion scanners but luckily no i would say no real infection on the defender machine and the vast machine is clean um, if you are wondering what this is there was a northern power razor update so this is just one of the the temporary fast that stayed behind but yeah i would say there's no real cons for a vast that really really well um, the only cons for defender i would say is we lost our two third party opinion scanners and we have one registry key that's added there um but i would say and then maybe one java startup but otherwise i would say it's really close between these two and they both gave really really good results so yeah you guys can make your own conclusion let me know what you guys thought about the video more tests to come so we'll test the next products uh, very soon so i hope you guys enjoyed this video again until next time